Hey everyone, let's go through part 12 of Demon King Chronicle. Um, let's continue from where I last uh, uh, ended off here. Uh, we're going into the Leviathan Depths, and I believe in the last video I named it the Leviathan Sea, but uh, of course that was not correct. Um, did one level building basically for each of the two characters, and I think uh, Kumo got two or three levels, perhaps, so I already saved around here. So, why don't we get our plan of attack, see where we're going to be going through the sea here. Um, okay, we go up and then over to where that one area is, go up, destroy that, go on to the left, then left again, then up. So, okay, so perhaps we have everything as we need to. Well. I'm gonna do is, I guess I should have maybe started at the nest, that way I could have um, seen what I need to do. Just want to double check on the number of treasure chests. And I don't think, yeah, we've gone through all of our, um, I think there might be, let's see here, battle record, uh, Leviathan Depths, two more, so those are the two items we need to grab. However I want to do is, I think I can run over to the disease, and I think Kumo's over there, he might give us a bottle, so why don't I just quickly run on over there. Um, okay. Yeah, there are no enemies on the screen over to the right, but... So what happens is the number of the characters in the game will actually be in different locations that are harder to get to. Oh, there he is. Move that out of the way. And and he made it here before us. Before, uh, well, whatever. He was sitting there in the mirage, though. So. Yep, so we got a glass fragment. And here would be a... that we don't have to run all, all the way back to the nest when we're in this area. And this will be pretty much, I believe, the next area we'll be coming to. And there's a spring there and a place to save, so you don't have to run all the way back in order to save it. But the enemies in this area, as you'll see, will be rather powerful. So there's a... you need to use a bit of strategy when taking them down, and I'll go into that um, once we get to that area. But uh, without further ado, let's get back to the Mirage and the Leviathan Sea. I think I already did all this anyway, so... is too strong, please don't let me strike, yeah. Okay, I know that, uh, well, I could show you the skills here. Once I get into a battle, I'll show you a skill or two that, uh, I'll show you the list of skills that uh, Kumo learned. Now, I want to go over to the left, don't I? No. Go to the right, then I need to go up. There is skills. You got Heart of Stone, which of course you used before. Lowers defense, Heaven's Blessing, Evasion, Wave Cutter. That does, uh, I believe, more damage. And it does a lot of damage, but it adjusts and temporarily increases stats, like most ability, uh, like Randolph's abilities. And he's doing more damage too because I increased his level a couple of times. I think we're in a good place to basically pretty much go for the boss, too. Oh, and here's a save point. Um, let's save it in the second one. So this first time we'll be in here, there's probably a Leviathan in this area. There's a here's the treasure chest we need to get. Guava. Well, there's one of those dragon enemies too, so let's grab him. Oh, and there is a Leviathan up there. Looks like yeah, we'll have to take him out. Oh, 
Okay. And he leveled up again. Oh, I oh, didn't want to do. What didn't want to grab two of them at once. Still kind of good there. I think we are. But, uh, see here. So what I'm doing is attacking with both of them and using Heart of Stone to drop the defense in order to facilitate an easy battle or attempt to have an easy battle. Spec Cinder. Hmm. Maybe I can... Oh, his defense is going to go down if I do that. I believe if I equip some of these and then, uh, you know, do the proficiency up, the stats will be better, but right now... Let's just leave it as it is. We're doing pretty darn well. And yep, and the boss area is up here. Just like usual, the music cuts out, so let's. They're pretty much all the way healed. Let's use an energy restore here. Hopefully I can take this boss out in one shot rather than all going all the way back there and getting those items. If I do, what I'll do is go out there, save, and come back. Do whatever I need to do to uh, get things done. And here it is. Okay. Here's all stuff. Okay, well, she's going to attack. He is going to Light Axe and Heart of Stone. Okay. Well, let's do Inferno. Light Axe again. And I'm not sure that stacks or not, but let's go attack. Energy Restore. Attack. And looks like okay. And they're silenced. I wish I could use Dragon Slayer. That'd be nice, but we'll get to use it a lot later on. Okay, so that was that was too easy. the gate. And our third individual, let's go the third chapter of the Demon King Chronicle. There is no healing magic, no starfall magic, no holy sword that cuts the dark, no secret resurre resurrection magic to bring loved ones back. <clears throat> because we live in such a world, we continue to write stories. That's what I was told by the man to whom I owe my life. In the next story, I am sure that I will meet a grisly end. If that does come to pass, it will not be in vain. My sacrifice will become someone else's courage. That's the kind of story I'd like it to be. That's right, just like your own. Thank you. Yeah, Kumo's gone. We're not ready to pass beyond this point. Okay, well. 
and we got his items too. What did he have? The Mask of Determination. Let's see if that... Eh, it doesn't really do anything for him. Uh, maybe if we level it up. Okay, well... I'm gonna save it here because I have a sneaky suspicion... Oh. You acquired White Will Stone. And this is important for us in the next area. And I was incorrect. The item that I needed to buy with that extra amount of gold is not in the disease. It's later in the final dungeon. So we have a little bit of time for that. Save that. Geyser Gazer. That was the boss that we fought. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Sorry, the mouse popped up there. We are going to go to... Here to read this. Geyser Gazer. Hikukumo has lost many people close to him just because they were good people. This monster takes on the form of the enemy from the second chapter of the Demon King Chronicles, combined with the weak-willed goodness ideal that he wants to overcome. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, we read that, so let's save that. And well, let's go over here and do the dramatic checking of Kumo's room. Kumo's Demon King Chronicle has gone missing. Yeah, we let it drift away in the river. Okay. And the reason I saved this is... Yeah. Okay. I don't think there's anything else in here. Okay, well... A story, it looks unfinished. A story, it looks unfinished. A story, it looks unfinished. It is well known that a certain species of rat can act as an agent for the disease. However, since the su successful eradication, this is a thing of the past. Even still, the people have not been able to forget their fear, still cowering at the sight of a rat and continuing to cut down the flowers that serve as their food. So yeah, these look like they're unfinished here. I think they're all unfinished, but... No. Flower field. All three have yet to arrive, but that can't be helped. It is now time to end this story. Time to finally fulfill the promise I made. Yeah. Surprise boss fight. He's doing like no damage. So am I doing almost no damage. Okay, well now I can use Inferno. Dragon Slayer. There's Dragon Slayer. And he's didn't do as much as I thought it would, but well, I can't use items, can I? Nope. I can make it back to do that. Oh, okay, that was close. Okay, Dragon Slayer again. Ruin Store.
Oh, the Demon King Chronicle ran away. Ran away, it looks like. Okay, well, let's make it back to where we need to go. Oh, he's... Oh, it was one of those scenes, yeah, like Camille takes them into their mind or whatnot, so, hmm. I know where that thing's going, so... Ah, shoot. Well... Whoops. I didn't want to go this way. This is the last area, and I'm not gonna... The imagination. Sorry to spoil things a little bit, but um, I'm not coming back here for a while. Okay. But that'll be an important area. Well, of course it is the last area, but that little grassy portion will be important here. Well, I guess I'm going to have to read this here. Let's see, Aaron, Aaron, and Flodnar. Okay, well, pardon me while I go read this again. Let's see here. <clears throat> Flodnar, born in a village on the plateau. Tall mountains surround this town. For the visitors to the mountain, the blizzard from the intensely cold mountain often steals the warmth from their bodies and the sight from their eyes, and many have died this way. An imaginary monster called the White Dragon was born from the fear the villagers held for the ferocious blizzards and the story was passed from parent to child over the generations. The story of the white dragon planted fear of the snowy mountain in the hearts of the villagers. It began to be used as a way of teaching that stepping onto the snowy mountain meant throwing away your life. However, hearing that story as a child, Flodnar instead grew more interested in the dragon. As Flodnar grew to the age where he no longer believed in dragons, he left the village on an adventure and, adventure and ventured across the continent. One day, Flodnar found a child on the side of the road and took it in as his own. For a long time, the boy had no name, but after a certain event, he named him Randolph. Randolph had a weak body as a child, so Flodnar often told him stories of a certain hero. It was a story of one young man defeating a monster lurking high in the mountains. It was a dramatization of the story from his own village. In the original, the dragon ruthlessly killed people. It had no discretion at all. After telling the story, Flodnar always said, Become strong enough that you can defeat a dragon. When Randolph was eight, he came down with a very terrible cold. With proper nourishment, it could have easily been overcome. However, the continent had fallen on hard times, and someone like Flodnar could barely afford any food. Flodnar crossed to the island and found proper food and nourishment for Randolph. Soon after, Randolph made a quick recovery. They lived on the island for some time, but one day Flodnar suddenly disappeared. After that, Randolph no longer had anyone to depend on. Slowly dying of starvation, his consciousness became hazy. A rat ran right near him, but it took all of, it, all of Randolph's strength just to follow it with his eyes. At that moment, the sword, sword leaning against the wall fell and struck the rat. Taking that rat in hand and gorging on its meat, Randolph decided he would survive on the island no matter what. That sword was left to him by Flodnar. Hmm. Who was the other one? Aaron Aaron, wasn't it? Yeah. Aaron Aaron. His dream was to be a writer, but his talent never bloomed. Now he is researching the Demon King Chronicles on the island. He's hoping his research will pay off and he'll strike it rich on the continent. And, well, I'm thinking here now. There are only two people left on the island, aren't there? There's just Camille and Randolph. Uh, we killed everyone else, didn't we? Or they left. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Demon King Chronicle. Oh, I didn't see what... The Me and jumping around too much. So, okay. Hmm. Oh, it's only about 20 minutes into this video, and we've already taken care of part of the, you know, 
most of what I wanted to do, but maybe we'll go into the disease and check those out. Well, I want to see a battle record. Leviathan Depths, we've got everything. Unmapped area, there's three. The rest of the stuff, we're good to go. Okay. So let's head into the disease. I'm not looking forward to this because these guys are... I think they're going to mow me down. And again, I thought that the last time I went to the seashore. So let's go and save it. So we're going to go up this way. These enemies are tough. They're on their own. They're not really tough. The main issue is okay. I'm glad I caught these. See these? Uh, def uh, all the enemies in this area are named Deformity. All of my different abilities. There's like a dragon one. There's a bear one. And they have these mosquito-like ones. The other enemies aren't so bad, but these particular Deformities don't attack. They simply put a buff on the rest of the enemies that vastly increase their attack strength and their critical rate. So you can see where this can be a big problem. So if possible, take these ones out before you fight any of the other enemies. But ah, they don't attack themselves, so that's why you need to go for them first if possible. And I took them out easily, which is good. Okay. Are there any more of them around? Because it would be a real pain in the rear end if there was. If there was, let's grab one of these guys. Let's grab one of these guys. Yeah. Okay. Well, they. These snakes, of course, are probably going to poison. See, they're all named Deformity. All right. They're doing no damage. Hmm. Maybe I am over leveled for this area. One of the things you also have to make sure you watch out for is sometimes where some of the items are located in these uh, tombstones the color is indifferent so you can't really see however when you run to an enemy and you walk around uh, everything changes in color that'll give you a key to where those particular tombstones that have hidden items in them are located hmm. okay well this doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult to get through then The issue is, we want to make sure we take out those mosquitoes first, and that's probably one of the saving graces here. I'm going to take out these guys simply because uh, they're given some okay experience and whatnot. Okay. I guess in order to get at that chest, I have to go all the way around, I think it is. Can I get, oh. Yeah, see, there's that mosquito that I want to take care of. Well, and they can also silence too, which is an issue. Stamina up. Glass fragment. right these mosquitoes are going to come back out aren't they yeah okay, 
I'm going to avoid those guys and just go down here. Let's see if any of the yeah, there are the mosquitoes. Well, of course, there's one down here. That yeah, that's of course a uh, something we can go in. And there are goats in here too, which is they're, uh, and they're strong themselves. Well, let's go through here anyway. Yeah, let's see what these... Make sure I get that guy here. See how these... What are they called? Well, it's another deformity, of course. Yeah, 43 points of damage. You see how... Yeah, these are the ones that are a lot scarier. chest over there. Yeah. yeah, see I did 82 points of damage. And that's that's the Dane uh, thousand gold, not that I really really needed it. Those mosquitoes are the things that are the, the dangerous things in this area. That's why I said it Ah, oh, come on. Of course you disappear. There we go. Let's grab. We'll fight these guys and get back basically our HP and whatnot, I think. are not really doing much way of damage. Go up or over? Mm, let's go up and see what happens. Of course he wouldn't come over this way. Camel increased in the level. Good. Oh, I need to get that mosquito. There's another area I can go through, or a tombstone that I doesn't look like I can go through. Oh, this might be where that other chest is. That was saw it a little earlier when I was coming to the area. This area. Yeah. Glass fragment. Yeah, you would miss. A fork. Yay, I think. I don't think there's any any other enemies around or any more areas to go through. No more tombstones in this particular part. But it looks like I can Go over to the right. Okay. Are 
these bears are a bit these bears are a bear ha oh, oh, ha oh, oh. ha sorry yeah just get him out of the way they were just pounding on her oh there I think there is one in here. Yeah, here we go. Hurry up. Grab that another glass fragment. Okay. I don't know what's down in this way. Hmm. There's something else in there I can get at. been here before. Yeah, that's where I was before. Okay. That's where we are then. Let's go over this way and Yeah, this is like a midpoint. Hmm. I'm gonna save this one up here. Another, I think there's another good chest down here. Let's... Oh, oh yeah, there are lizards. There are lizards, too. Okay, well, let's... Oh, no, they're um, crows or something like that. And the dragons are in this area, too. So let's go for these... Ah, crud. Crud, crud, crud. Mind's eye. What does that do? Okay. Hmm. Ah, I wasted... Wasted a potion. Forty-five. Like I said, they're getting, they're, they're getting dangerous now. If I avoid the dragons, that might be easier, but I don't think that's going to be... I don't think that's going to be a valid option! Yeah, this is not going to be good. Let's see. Yeah, how did I figure that out? Yeah. I might have to come back to this one if I die. Well, at least I got rid of a couple of them. Okay. Okay, slightly dirty clothes. That goes up. Go ahead and I want to save it as it is. Oh. There's one area that I need to. Well, there is one goal in this area. There's no boss or anything, but.
thousand gold, glass fragment. Heck are these? Guess there's nothing in there. I don't recall there being anything in there. So keep going that way. Let's see what's over here. I don't think there's anything up that well. I can always come back to the area, but right now I'm just about going through and trying to get to my destination in here. Oh, we can put a magic bean over here. As, as you can see, there's a chest. So let's... Yeah, let's plant one there. Oh, that's to get that... One up there. Mangos. And there it looks like there's another item there too. You can see a very faint white dot right there. So... So eventually we are going to have to come back to this area. So I'm going to avoid these dragons. Can we avoid the dragons? Okay. Sort of. And there looks like a place I can go in here. Oh yeah, this is another place that I believe it had a chest or two. Another glass fragment. Hmm. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah, this is not going to turn out well. Okay, this is actually where I wanted to be. Like I said, there's no boss. Should be a house up here. Yep. And this thing right here is going to be available for purchase. I don't have enough gold for it. Um, but when we go up here... Memory Fragment. You need White Will Stone in order to acquire this memory. Acquire memory. Join the party. Who joined the party? So, our mysterious third party member. That is not a bug you'll see the reason why. But it is not a bug. Holy sword that cuts the dark. Critical damage times two. As you can see, left our party. Hmm. Maybe that party member only pops up at certain times. And as you can see, the, uh, which I'm going to call it here is gone. And this is where you can jump down. So, I'm going to turn in a couple of things like these, um, these bottles and whatnot. How many frags? Oh, I can get two. Good. Let's do it that way. Oh, Aaron, Aaron. Oh, he's still alive. Possessed by Harold's Willstone, I have told you everything I can. The ending for the story is not incredibly complicated. Bring the story to its conclusion. You are the only person who can finish it. How much is it? 25,000. So what I'll have to do is, I'll get enough gold before the next video and go ahead and buy it. It just gives you access to two more treasures. What I am going to do is... Oh, wow. More glossary. Pirates. Okay. Let's 
see where it is. Uh, I have to, sorry, I have to scroll down through. Iritz. Iritz was a thief who specialized in robbing from the rich. He spent his days filling the pockets of those less fortunate, and of course his own as well. He wasn't really a hero or a villain. He walked a very fine line in that respect. While in port, he heard rumors regarding a certain book. The rumored book floated here from the southern part of the continent and was written by an unknown writer named Harold Dester. However, he only completed three chapters, so the book is still incomplete. Even still, this mysterious book called the Demon King Chronicles was published in small numbers. There were many people who enjoyed theorizing about the work over various questions such as who wrote the story and for what purpose? What kind of ending was planned? Iritz was very curious about the book. However, it carried a high price tag, so getting his hands on it was not easy. So he reached the only possible conclusion. Well, that's it. I might as well try to get my hands on the original that swept in with the tide. He found out that a particular old man, one of the most famous people on the continent, was the current owner. So, I guess that was Zelfi Eloanto, the old man that they were trying to kill. Oh, okay. Let's see how many chests are left in the disease. I still got nine more, and that includes those two items that I couldn't get without planting that seed or whatnot. But. Whatnot. So, um. Well, it's getting to be about 42 minutes here in this particular video. So, um. Thanks for joining me for this video. Um. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you see, consider subscribing, leaving a comment or 20, personal messages, whatever you'd like to do. Um. Check out my ebook series, The Not So Healthy Dose of Chaos. The first book is free, available at Smashwords, uh, etc., Barnes and Noble. It is a 99 cents at Amazon.com simply because I couldn't put free initially for the book. Second book runs a buck ninety nine at those various locations, and I'm writing a third one as we speak. Uh, so once again, thanks for joining me, and I hope you'll tune in to the next time. See you everyone.